Welcome to the lesson on chemical properties of carbon compounds. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to explain the formation of coal and petroleum, explain combustion, oxidation, addition and substitution reaction of carbon compounds, explain formation of ethanol and ethanoic acid, Explain the reactions related with ethanol and ethanoic acid and explain how soaps and detergents act as cleansing agents. Coal and petroleum have been formed from biomass which has been subjected to various biological and geological processes. Coal is the remains of plants and trees that remained a millions of years ago. They got buried and were subjected to high temperature and pressure for several years and got converted into coal. This process is known as carbonization. Oil and gas are the remains of millions of tiny plants and animals that lived in the sea. When they died, their bodies sank to the seabed and were covered by silt. Bacteria attacked the dead remains. They turned into oil and gas under the high pressure. The silt got compressed into rock. The oil and gas seeped into the porous parts of the rock and remained there. Carbon burns in oxygen to give carbon dioxide along with the release of heat and light. Most carbon compounds also release a large amount of heat and light on burning along with carbon dioxide and water. If carbon or its compound is burnt in an insufficient supply of air, then incomplete combustion of carbon or its compound takes place and carbon monoxide and water vapor and some heat is produced. Saturated hydrocarbon gives clean flame while unsaturated carbon compounds give yellow flame with lots of black smoke. Limiting the supply of air results in incomplete combustion of even saturated hydrocarbon giving a sooty flame. Fuels like coal and petroleum have nitrogen and sulphur in them. Therefore, their combustion results in formation of oxides of sulphur and nitrogen which causes pollution of air. Oxidation is the reaction in which carbon compounds take up oxygen in the presence of oxidizing agents to give another carbon compound. The substances which are capable of adding oxygen to others are called oxidizing agents. Alcohols are oxidized to acids in the presence of alkaline potassium permanganate or acidified potassium dichromate. Ethanol gets converted to ethanoic acid. Here, the oxidizing agents are alkaline potassium permanganate or acidified potassium dichromate. With cold dilute alkaline potassium permanganate, ethylene is oxidized to ethylene glycol. The unsaturated hydrocarbons undergo addition reactions and get converted to saturated hydrocarbons. Unsaturated hydrocarbons are more reactive because of the tendency of the double bonded carbon. They add hydrogen in the presence of catalysts such as palladium or nickel to give saturated hydrocarbons. This reaction is commonly used in hydrogenation of vegetable oils. Sometimes bromine is also added to unsaturated hydrocarbons. For example, when bromine is added to ethylene, ethylene dibromide is formed. Similarly, bromine reacts with acetylene to form acetylene tetrabromide or tetrabromoethane. In a substitution reaction, an atom or a group present in a compound is replaced by another atom or a group. For example, in a reaction of methane with chlorine, in the presence of sunlight, hydrogen is substituted by chlorine and methyl chloride is formed. Ethyl alcohol or ethanol is obtained by the fermentation of molasses with enzymes present in the yeast. Molasses is obtained from sugarcane juice. 
During fermentation, sugar and starch molecules are broken down into smaller molecules containing ethanol with evolution of carbon dioxide gas. Ethanol is soluble in water and is liquid in room temperature. Hence, it has varied uses. It is a very important solvent for many organic compounds. It is used to sterilize wounds and syringes. It is used as a solvent for varnishes, perfumes, medicines, etc. It is used for alcoholic drinks like whiskey, wine, beer and other liquors. There are long-term harmful effects of consumption of alcohol. Excess of alcohol affects lungs of a person and may lead to death. Unlike ethanol, intake of methanol in very small quantities can cause death. To make alcohol unsuitable for drinking, certain poisonous substances like pyridine, methanol and copper sulphate dyes are added to it. This is called denatured alcohol. Methylated spirit is ethyl alcohol to which some methyl alcohol has been added to make it undrinkable. When a piece of sodium metal is poured over ethyl alcohol, vigorous reaction occurs and hydrogen gas is bubbled out. Heating ethanol at 443 Kelvin with excess concentrated sulfuric acid results in the dehydration of ethanol to give ethene which is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. The concentrated sulfuric acid can be regarded as a dehydrating agent which removes water from ethanol. Ethanoic acid is commonly called acetic acid and belongs to a group of acids called carboxylic acids. It is a weak acid. The melting point of pure ethanoic acid is 290 Kelvin and hence it often freezes during winter. 5 to 8 percent solution of acetic acid in water is called vinegar and is used widely as a preservative in pickles. It is used for the preparation of aspirin used for headache reliefs. It is also used for preparing cellulose acetate which is an important artificial fiber. It is used to coagulate rubber for latex. Presence of ethanoic acid is tested by heating it with a little ethanol and concentrated sulfuric acid. If pleasant fruity smell comes out of the test tube, it shows that the given compound is ethanoic acid. This test can be used in general for testing carboxylic acids. Esters are most commonly formed by reaction of an acid and an alcohol. Ethanoic acid reacts with absolute ethanol in the presence of an acid catalyst to give an ester. This is the functional group of an ester. Esters are sweet smelling substances. These are used in making perfumes and as flavoring agents. Esters react with acids or bases to give back the alcohol and the carboxylic acid. For example, on treating with base sodium hydroxide, the ester is converted back to ethanol and sodium salt of carboxylic acid called sodium ethanoid. This reaction is known as saponification because it is used in the preparation of soap. Like mineral acids, ethanoic acid reacts with the base such as sodium hydroxide to give a salt sodium ethanoid or commonly called sodium acetate and water. Ethanoic acid reacts with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates to give rise to a salt, carbon dioxide and water. The salt produced is sodium ethanoid commonly called sodium acetate. Soaps or detergents consist of two parts with distinct properties. One part or end 
consists of a large hydrocarbon tail which is hydrophobic or water repelling. The other part is hydrophilic or water loving. The molecules of soap are sodium or potassium salts of long chain carboxylic acids. The ionic end which is water loving in nature dissolves in water while the carbon chain dissolves in oil. The soap molecules form structures called micelles where one end of the molecules is towards the oil droplet while the ionic end faces outside. This forms an emulsion in water. Soap in the form of micelle is able to clean since the oily dirt will be collected in the center of the micelle. When water is agitated, the micelle with the oily dirt tends to lift off. The negative charged heads present in water do not allow the solution to precipitate because of iron-iron repulsion. Water when mixed with calcium and magnesium salts causes hardness of water. Hardness of water causes difficulty in the formation of foam or lather. This problem is overcome by using another class of compounds called detergents as cleansing agents. Detergents are usually ammonium or sulfonate salts of long chain carboxylic acids. The charged ends of these compounds do not form insoluble precipitate with the calcium and magnesium ions in hard water. Hence, they remain effective in hard water. Detergents are usually used to make shampoos and products for cleaning clothes. Visit ATEC Academy on www.atecedu.com or contact on 904